No. I'm here. No. And I'll do it enthusiastically. Oh, I know. Oh, Wi-Fi died. Uh, why? You shut the door, woman. That shouldn't matter. Wi-Fi is very ficky. fickle. Fickle. Ficky. Ficky. And a oop. We ready? Yeah. And a oop. Greetings, Internet. Welcome to But I'm Still a Good Person by Vince Nicholas. I'm Vince Nicholas. I'm joined by my sparkling wifey, Carolyn Nicholas. Hi. Hello, honey. Thank you for joining me on our bed for our little program here. Okay. So we have quite the month coming up. A month of leisure, rest, relaxation, but also adventure and activity. Uh, so it's starting out uh, next week, next weekend. We are going to Disneyland. Ooh. When's the last time you went to Disneyland, honey? Um, 2013 or 2014? Yeah. I'm probably around there. Uh, we, were, we were actually watching a bunch of uh, YouTubers and travel vloggers um, videos last night. Tips, tricks, mistakes you don't want to make uh, videos last night. And... Uh, it was like, wow, I remember Main Street, uh, Space Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain. Uh, it's got new stuff. I can't wait. I'm really excited. It's going to be the bomb. Uh, so. And that oop. Okay. So how this came about is we are going for my stepdad, Grandpa Curtis's 70th birthday. Uh, it's going to be very exciting. My mom booked the weekend. She paid for it. Uh, Disneyland Hotel and uh, tickets to uh, the Disneyland Park. All told, mm, she won't tell me tell me how much she spent, but I know how much she spent, and it's uh, it's, well, it's uh, several grand. Uh, but um, so the Disneyland Hotel. Why did she chick pick chick pick <laughs> pick the Disneyland Hotel over Pixar Place? That's more kitty stuff. California Adventure is a little on the high end. Of the three uh, on uh, premises, uh, on Disney grounds hotel, but the Disneyland hotel, she told me she picked it for us because it has a bar. Wow, <laughs> she knows you. Oh, she knows us, right, <laughs> honey? Mm -hmm. uh, which I appreciate. I can dig it. Uh, okay, so I've gone deep, deep dive on Disneyland hotel, downtown Disney, Disneyland. Da, da, da. Uh, and Disney and Disneyland, uh, they operate on one premise. And to quote Gordon Gecko, it's a little thing I like to call greed. So our hotel is nearly $600 per night, a room, Disneyland Hotel. There's no continental breakfast, okay? Like, if if they do it at scale over several thousand uh paying customers in Disneyland Hotel, it would cost like 33 cents each to give us a couple bagels and a little uh, waffle machine. But they don't give you continental breakfast. It's a pure cash grab. Like, And there's heck of hotels in the uh, Anaheim area surrounding uh, Disneyland that have uh, continental breakfast. But for 600 bucks a night, I would think the Disneyland Hotel could yeah. pony up. Or how about some, like, uh, toaster strudel right. or something? Anything. Orange juice, water, <laughs> sir. May I have some water? Uh, and then the another uh, example of their pure, unadulterated, selfish capitalism. California Adventure. It's, it's, it's the other park or whatever in, in, the, in the Disney uh, area, Disney grounds. Why did they make a second park? Just make Disneyland bigger? Oh. Because you can charge more. You can charge for another ticket. Uh, another, you can do park hopper status. It's just, they could have just kept expanding Disneyland, but they were like, no, we can make double the amount of money for California Adventure. We're not going to California Adventure. I've always seen it as a lower tier Disney. Like, Yeah, I definitely prefer the classic Disneyland park. Yeah. Although California Adventure has a few cool things. I'd rather just go to the original park myself. 
Right. I'm sure it's lovely, but just the premise. I live, I've lived in California for 46 years and it's been an adventure, I guess. <laughs> uh, the, the big uh, sell there, the big attention grabbers, uh, the, the Marvel, the Avengers campus, which, okay. Oh, yeah. uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Right. Aren't, aren't we over Marvel? We're over Marvel. Uh, another um, thing Disney does, Disneyland do, is Genie Plus. Uh, and it's it's this uh, upgrade you can get uh, for $30. It used to be 15 then it went to 20 Now it's $30 per person. And you get to skip lines. Um, and you get some photo sharing uh, capability when they take your uh, picture on Splash Mountain or whatever. And you're screaming your head off. Uh, you get to have those pictures. But it's 30 bucks. It doesn't include all the rides in Disneyland. There's surge pricing, so if you decided to to buy it uh, on the day you're in the park at 2 p.m. or whatever, uh, it'll it could go up to 40 plus dollars, and 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 some of the premium rides aren't even on there. You have to buy them a la carte. Uh, for instance, Rise of the Resistance, the Star Wars uh, new Star Wars ride, um, it's not on Genie Plus. And if you want to cut the line, line the Lightning Lane, as it's called. It's twenty dollars per person per ride to skip the queue. That is so insane. It's, it's just such a cash grab. I know. There's no real reason for any of this. There is. It's called capitalism. It's called greedy, unabated, selfish capitalism. I blame Jeff Bezos. Uh but I'm so glad my mom is paying. Uh this would have never happened without her, uh, straight up. Um and uh, it's it, it it's pricey, but people love it. And uh, like every video we watched last night, it was just uh, hordes of people, <laughs> sea of people, everywhere you look. Um, I mean, Disney's doing something right, and it's definitely uh, a theme park. It's which is different than an amusement park, honey, because a theme park there's a theme. Ooh, I learned that watching YouTube's last night. Um, but uh yeah it's 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 uh it's gonna cost a pretty penny uh, a couple nickels uh i'm glad uh, my mom is busting uh and she's also paying for her freaking uh flight down there uh but she used her southwest points so she had <laughs> she had like eighty thousand southwest points uh but yeah props to my mumsies and it's gonna be a blast celebrating grandpa curtis's seven zero uh, I got I got him a sash, and it says seventy and fabulous. <laughs> Did you get him a crown? Yes, Yay. a crown. I, it was a whole little kit on Amazon: uh, candles, balloons, seven zero, uh, a princess crown, and then a sash that says <laughs> seventy and fabulous. And if he doesn't wear it, I will. Okay, <laughs> I ain't ashamed. Uh, so uh, we're we're planning that we're. We're putting together the the logistics. Uh, we're going to be in one room with Lennox and Luna, and hopefully with an adjoining room uh, with my parents. Uh, Disneyland still is trying to figure that out, trying to work that. Um, so my mom's like, and my mom's coming up from San Diego, which is ninety minutes from Disneyland. So she says, "Hey, I'm going to bring the sparkling waters you like." And I said, "Cool," because. When I go down and visit her, she gets a bunch of those uh, sparkling ice water thingies, and I drink them like well, water, uh, and it's it's fun. But she gets them for super cheap. She's like, so I'm going to bring a bunch of sparkling ice waters to our hotel room. And I was like, cool, Mom. And then she says, oh, yeah, and I'm going to bring uh, a, a, a griddle, a hot kettle, and some uh, carne asada meat, and I'm going to cook the meat in the hotel room. And I said, whoa, 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 Mom. <laughs> Uh, that's I appreciate it. I appreciate the gesture, but you don't want to be cooking up all smoke, smoking up your hotel room. Could be a fire alarm. Uh, Walt Disney, the anti semite, could uh, come from the grave and get upset. <laughs> um, I was like, uh, just chill on the, on the, on the, um, on the raw meat and and the, the, the griddle there. Um, and then she said, well, I'll just bring cooked meat in the Tupperware. And I said, well, mom, are you going to bring paper plates and uh, paper forks and napkins? Like, uh, we, we don't need to do a lot of eating in the hotel room, uh, some snacks. Uh, she's going to bring like crackers and all that stuff. So that's that's fine. Get some gets a little messy in the bed and on the floor. But 
no worries. Um, I'm ready to go all in. I'm going to wear cargo shorts. So we're going to be down there for uh, three days, two nights. Got three pairs of cargo shorts. I'm ready to go all in, all dad, all cargo short, all the time. And if you, if you have a problem with my cargo shorts, let me reach into one of my 17 pockets to see if I give an F. You know, back in the day, I used to be against cargo shorts because I was like, that's like loser dad stuff. Okay. Uh, and Adam Sandler in a movie stuff. Uh, but now it's so convenient to have all those pockets. I wear yeah. it. I wear them as a badge of honor. You look cute in them. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Um, also, so Lennox and Luna have flown, but only with your parents. Yes. Never with you, never with us. Uh, so they're flying with us down to uh, Anaheim, John Wayne County Airport, John Wayne Airport in uh, Orange County. Uh, and we were like, how do kids fly? Because TSA and uh, uh, ID, driver's license, real ID. Well, what's the deal? You looked it up, honey. Yeah, nothing. They just get on. They don't check. They don't need to show a school ID, a birth certificate, nothing. They just walk on the plane and they take your word for it that this is whose name is on the ticket. Uh, d does Al Qaeda know about this <laughs> policy? <laughs> Like that that seems uh very, very uh rife with problems and danger. I can't believe that. It's so opposite from the strict restrictions on adults. Right. It's like the complete opposite. Right. Absolutely no restrictions or rules right. or checks. Oh, this eight year old kid won't uh, blow up this plane. Oh really? You you trust I don't think ISIS have gotten has gotten wind of this. And if they hear this on this pod, we're just kidding, ISIS. Uh, and then the weekend after that, um, my cousin Joyce married a Scottish dude in Scotland, and they had a, a grand old ceremony. Uh, she's originally from San Jose, so they're doing like a San Jose celebration party. Uh, it's not the actual wedding. Uh, so all the California, all my Vietnamese side <laughs> can show up and uh, eat a bunch of shrimp spring rolls. Um, so we're going down, down to San Jose. This is the weekend after Disneyland and, uh, to say hi to a bunch of my cousins and aunts and uncles. Uh, also it's our anniversary, darling. Yes. Our five year anniversary. The haters said we would never make it, but we're out here proving them wrong. So, uh, we're going to hang out at Joyce's, uh, little shindig. And then I rented a mansion for us. Honey. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hayes Mansion in San Jose, California. Lennox and Luna are going to be with us. Uh, we're going to party, and it's going to be like freaking the Great Gatsby. Yes, around. I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah. We party in mansions like Leo DiCaprio. Okay, it's really a hotel that Hilton bought uh, several years ago and re rehabbed the mansion into a functioning, uh, decent hotel. But did I mention we're going to be partying in a mansion? Uh, so we're going to go from Joyce's thing to the mansion, grab a couple cocktails, hang out with Lynn and Luna. And then you have an obsession or you want to go <laughs> swimming at night. I want to go night swimming at the Hayes Mansion. Yeah. Why? Darling? I just envision us. Uh, it's just like peak fun mm. swimming at night at a hotel. Yeah. With peak. all the lights and uh, yeah. Peak opulence. Yes. Yeah. I was against it at first because I was like, what are you, crazy? <laughs> I, I want to be in the hotel room or at the bar, uh, but I'll, I'll go night swimming. You, with can, you. you can mix the bar with the swimming pool. That's true. Yeah. And yeah. we will. Okay. Yeah. Good idea. Good point. Uh, and then the week after that, uh, we are doing a Fisher family photograph uh, location as yet to be determined. Uh, it's going to be early Saturday-ish. And, uh, what? You're laying like... Well, my, my arm was falling asleep, darling. You know in the Spongebob movie when, like, um... No, I never watched it. I'm an adult. And that oop. Uh, so your parents... We took, uh, we took some pictures a few years ago. And it was a huge production. Uh, how many fishers are there? Were 25-ish? Something like that. Something like that. Uh, and then someone is no longer in the Fisher clan, am I right? 
And so your parents want to redo the photographs. Without, we need an updated picture. Without yeah. this certain someone, let's just say. Uh, yeah, and I'm trying, I'm keto. I'm trying to uh, drop weight. Why would Liz Fisher put me in a photograph? Uh, <laughs> why does she hate me? I hate myself. I hate my body. But it's okay, lizard lips. Uh, and then after that, we are going to Santa Cruz, BU, Lennox, and Luna for three nights. Uh, we're going we're gonna to go down there on a Thursday. We'll be back on Sunday. We got tickets to the boardwalk, which has food and rides and games and amusement. Uh, it's an amusement park as opposed to a theme park. Uh, and then we got tickets to the mystery spot, which is where uh, the, the government military buried some aliens. So gravity is all out of whack. Uh, that's going to be fun. Yeah, I'm super excited. I want to spend time at the beach. I want to relax. The mystery spot is in the woods, yeah. in the forest of Santa Cruz. Yeah. So I'm so excited that we get to do like so many different... And that uh, oop. So many different activities, so much fun. So many uh, different landscapes. Yes, landscapes <laughs> and landmarks. Is that what you were going for? <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, so... My whole thing is that, so this is four weeks of pictures and just wanting to look my best, look decent. Uh, I've been keto for days now. And let me tell you, it's a lifestyle. It really is. You're looking good. Thank you. Yeah, I have dropped uh, weight. Uh, well, in mid-January, I was 239 and I'm currently 207. Well, shoot. Yeah. And this week, I'm going to starve myself. Starvation Nation. <laughs> Hopefully to maybe drop to 199. Oh, that would make my mom so happy. I mean, me so happy. I mean, my mom so happy. Uh, it's all one in the same, isn't it? But uh, I mean, I want to drink over the next month, but I'm going to stick to salad uh, when we go out to eat. Um, light beers, if possible, uh, but salad and vegetables. Because, I mean, I could go, I could go ham, okay? I could go hog wild at Disneyland and then hate myself for the next three weeks uh, and pretend to be sick on the Fisher picture day. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I want to maintain. And then once Santa Cruz, uh, once we're down in Santa Cruz and we've taken a few pictures for the Insta, it's on. <laughs> it is yes. on like Donkey Kong. And when we get back, <laughs> oh, here I come, uncle. I see you. I see you, uncle. Peace cuisine. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm going to try to maintain uh, for the next four weeks. It's going to be difficult, but it's going to be easy at the same time because I've been doing, well, very well. Uh, in terms of grooming, groom preparation, uh, you're going to shave my back this week. I'm going to shave my chest mm, Wednesday-ish, maybe Thursday. i got to trim my leg hair, uh, my eyebrows, my nose hair. Got to mow those down. Um, do you have any uh, specific grooming that you need to do, honey? Um, I'm going to shave my legs probably mm. on Thursday mm. so they're not too hairy when we're in Disneyland. Yeah. That's it. Uh, Just my normal everyday stuff beyond that. Well, we went to Target today and they didn't have your <laughs> arm hair dye. Right? Yeah, I need to. Oh, that's right. I need to bleach my arm hair and uh, Target was out. Uh, so hopefully I have enough still here at home. I might just have enough to do one arm. Yeah. Uh, yesterday I got a pedicure. I brought them dogs out, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, you weren't there to defend me, honey. They accused me of being a homosexual, which is fine. It's because I'm so handsome, uh, and I lift, and I'm not afraid to be a feminine kind of brew. Brew. The lady asked you if you're Chinese. Yes. And then she asked you if you have a boyfriend. Yes. Any other, uh, humorous strange questions that she had for you no uh they they brought up food because we can always talk about food they brought up various vietnamese foods um and they were like where's your mom and i said san diego and she said well next time she comes here bring her over here and i said well, all right yeah. for a pedicure <laughs> <laughs> it was odd uh but uh yeah that's it and it's all about light beers and salad and I want to keep going, keep lifting. Um, obviously, we're going to take breaks here and there with the weekends. 
Um, but the weekdays are going to be in the gym, getting get my swole on. Okay, is there anything else, honey? Are you looking forward to the next four weeks? Absolutely. We're going to have so much fun packed into just a month. Yeah. And Lennox and Luna are going to be with us at all times because once in a while we take off by ourselves or when we go down to San Diego, we're by ourselves. Um, sometimes we'll do a staycation, uh, but they're going to be with us every weekend. I'm sure they dread it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. Yeah. Uh, for our anniversary, honey, should we do anything special or is just uh, is the night swimming in a mansion, a couple of espresso martinis? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. We talked about going to where we got married. Uh, the chicken park in Fair Oaks. But we did that a couple years ago. And we just, we haven't made it out there. Yeah, we talk about going out there all the time and we haven't. But, I mean, we're going to be in San Diego our whole anniversary weekend. So, yeah. or I'm sorry, San, San Jose? San, San Jose. Jose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, that's the celebration right there. Yeah. And the chicken park is 20 minutes away. And it's always 20 minutes away. And even when we go to Fair Oaks for Hazy or Trader Joe's, where I was like, oh, the chicken park uh, is just yeah. a turn, <laughs> like <laughs> an eighth of a mile around that uh, bend right there. But we never do. We'll go. We'll, we'll go. go someday. Yeah. We definitely, we go back to Carmelita's or that uh, Shangri-La there. Alrighty. Well, are we done, honey? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the end of the program. It's been fun, but not really. So I'll try a little harder next time like comment subscribe follow review and rate or don't do whatever you want you're growing up make your own decisions do what's best for your family please be sure to use our promo code for genie plus we don't have a promo code for genie plus goodbye my parasocial podcast friends i love you my wife and i love you we hope you have a good day today and tomorrow and sure i may have called walt disney an anti-semite those are the allegations honey Hmm. Where is the lie? Actually, I don't know. I've I've only ever heard you say that. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I've I never got, heard where that came from. I got it from somewhere. Well, that's on my other podcast. Uh, we got demonetized and deplatformed. <laughs> uh, advertisers don't want the truth. Okay. They just want a happy-go-lucky. Hi, this is my Disney travel vlog. They don't want to know about the gay frogs in Austin. Uh, but I'm still a good person and we're still good people uh, thank you for listening, thank you for caring thank you for sharing uh, we hope you have a wonderful day slash night uh, bye bye by the way, there's a term called rope drop it's really just when Disneyland opens which is 8am and there's a whole strategy of you gotta hop on Genie Plus and you gotta start queuing and you gotta order your food for 11am that's the whole deal but I wanna go straight to uh, Star Wars, Galaxy Edge, and then Rise of the Resistance and or Smuggler's Run. Rise of the Resistance was broke yesterday, okay? And today it's an 80-minute wait. Uh, but my parents, listen, they're older, and uh, I'm thinking I got an hour, two hours tops uh, with them before we head back to the hotel, which is perfectly fine. We might break off. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, me and the kids... I, I want to do as many rides as possible and see yeah. as many things as we can. Yeah. And I'm all for that. And I want to hang with my mom. Um, and so if it comes down to it, we're going to break off. You go with Lennox and Luna. I'll go with uh, my parents back to the Disneyland hotel. Yeah. And I might steal away for a cocktail or two <laughs> at the bar. Well, she's the one who picked the hotel. She's encouraging my alcoholism. Um, but our rope drop, a bunch of YouTubers are out here saying, don't go to, to immediately to Smuggler's Run. Don't go to Rise of Resistance because it's right off the bat an hour long wait. Well, I I, I got a couple hours tops with my uh, my darling uh, aging parents. So we're going to head straight there. Hopefully get on one, hope maybe two. Depends on uh, if, the, well, if they're working, if they're open, if they're broken. If they're being refurbed or whatever. Uh, and then I'll head back to the telly. You stay. Do you want to stay till close? Like yeah. all night? Well, I, I think me and the kids will come back and oh, yeah. we might like take a little rest in the afternoon. Yeah. Have dinner with you and yeah, your parents. Yeah, Kurt's, Kurt's having a couple of friends from San Diego come up. Yeah. Uh, and we're trying to put together like a, a dinner celebration kind of deal. And then 
after that, when the festivities are over, I would like to go back to the park with the kids okay. and shut it down. <laughs> All righty. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, we'll <laughs> talk about Disneyland next week, I guess. Uh, okay. See ya. Take care. Brush your hair.